If you're struggling to squat, let's start from the ground up and take a look at the ankles. Today I've got four different drills for you to work with to improve this flexibility. But first, let's take a little look at a test to see if this is your limiting factor. Two things for this test, you're gonna to need to be barefoot or in a zero drop shoe, so we're not cheating, and then you're gonna need a wall. We're gonna take a kneeling position and we're gonna be one hand's width, including the thumb, away from the wall. We're then gonna shift the knee over the toes to try and touch the wall. If we can touch, that's a pass. If we can't touch, then it's probably something that we're gonna to need to work on. I should note that the foot needs to remain flat at all times. We don't wanna be lifting the heel off to try and make this happen and cheating the test. Let's kick things off with a little bit of soft tissue work for the calves and hamstrings. We're gonna need for this one a stick. I've got a broomstick right here. Any stick with a little bit of thickness is gonna be perfect. And we're gonna start in a leaning position. We're gonna place the stick as close as we can to the back of the knees and then gently, and I mean gently because this one can be a little bit painful, we're just gonna sit back and place our weights onto the stick. And this is gonna add this compression to the calf, kind of acting like trigger point therapy because it's very localized to one spot. You can assist with the hand if you need to, just to give you a bit of support. And then over the space of two or three minutes, we're gonna gradually just come out of it, move the stick down slightly, sit back on it. If you find a particular point that is very tender, feel free to stay there for a little bit longer, embrace the pain, and then continue moving down to the bottom of the car. Instead of reducing the intensity, if you wanna turn it up a notch, you can take your hands and place them on the stick and then apply additional pressure onto the car. So we've suffered enough, we can now get rid of the stick and we're gonna move on to the next drill. For this one, you are gonna to want to go from your shoes to being barefoot so we can test that foot flexibility. Tucking the toe in a kneeling position, we're looking to be able to achieve at least 70 degrees of extension over that big toe. Like before, if we can achieve more range, then that's gonna give us more freedom to move. If we're lacking this, and potentially this is limiting us. Using the corner of a wall, we can place our foot as close as we can, running the big toe down, creating a stretch over the big toe and into the arch of the foot. Whilst holding this, we can think about applying some PNF. So I'm gonna try and press the big toe into the wall, building up a bit of effort. I want to hold this one for 45 to 60 seconds per side. Then relax and try to shift the knee closer to the wall. Next, let's stretch the calves. We're going to go for a pretty standard single leg calf stretch here. You can be set up against the wall as I am or on a step. The reason we go for single leg is that the calves are quite stubborn. So we need to have a decent amount of load and we need to hold it for a decent amount of time. You're gonna to want to hold this one for around 90 to 120 seconds per side. And during that duration, you can also change the orientation of the foot, having it turned out or turned inwards. Play with all of the positions and see what hits the spot for you. For the final drill, we're gonna bring out the big guns with some weights. I'm gonna repeat the exact same exercise that we tested with. As always with flexibility, you either use it or lose it. I hope this one helps you out to move more freely. It's part of the reason that I love Vivos. It allows your foot to move naturally and get stronger. If this did help you out, please let us know in the comment section down below. And if you want some more guidance, then make sure you go check out the foot and ankle course over on Vivo Health. Thanks for watching the video. Happy stretching. Catch you in the next one.